As you all know, the UN Charter guarantees the equal rights of nations, large and small. And yet, we have seen member states seek to use the UN Security Council, the General Assembly, and even the most arcane UN committees in ways that cross the line from legitimate criticisms of Israel's policies to attempts to delegitimize the state of Israel itself. The only country in the world with a standing agenda item at the Human Rights Council is not North Korea, a totalitarian state that is currently holding an estimated 100,000 people in gulags, not Syria, which has gassed its people, lots of them. It is Israel. Bias has extended well beyond Israel as a country, Israel as an idea. It even extends to Israeli organizations. Some of you may know the group Zaka, an Israeli humanitarian group that helps save lives in disasters and ensures proper burial for the victims of those tragedies. Zaka not only works here in Israel, but it responds to natural and man-made disasters worldwide, as it did in New York after 9-11, and in Haiti after the 2010 earthquake. Yet when Zaka was nominated in 2013 for accreditation by the UN's NGO committee, and this accreditation is what give gives NGOs the right to participate in UN meetings, the right to assert their voices, the right to raise causes that really can matter in the world. When Zaka was put forward, it was denied approval. Five subsequent times the committee met and five times member states blocked Zaka. Not because of the quality of its work, people weren't that interested in the quality of its work, but simply because Zaka is an Israeli organization. I think at the United Nations, it, it, it's, it's just important for, for everyone to bear in mind uh, that, as I indicated in my remarks, Israel is just not treated like other countries. So in the General Assembly, every autumn, there are resolutions that are brought on human rights situations and other challenges around the world. And every year, there's one resolution brought directed at uh, President Assad and his regime and some of the horrible crimes he's committed against his people. Against Israel, again, and there are legitimate criticisms that one can make, and we, you hear us make criticisms of settlements and other aspects of Israeli policies. In Israel, around the same time, there's one on Syria, and there's 18 on Israel. And so part of our uh, posture in New York is dedicated to trying to ensure that the criticisms uh, of Israel are about policies and not of the existence of the state itself, which is what it still feels as though a lot of that criticism is motivated by. And remember, there are many countries that uh, still uh, either you know, whisper or even say outright that they wish Israel didn't exist. And so we will always uh, defend Israel from those kinds of attacks and we will always uh, stand up again for, for its security.